Item 9, conduct of business. Item A, receive oral report and provide comments on the development of the conceptual design for the new recreation center and aquatic center. Uh, Mr. Manager. Mayor, members of the city council, it's my great pleasure tonight to introduce, uh, and let me, before I do that, I apologize for the length of the many presentations. I think this is a, I hope this will be a particularly interesting and um, important one for the city council and for the public. This is our presentation tonight. It will be made by Dawn Merks and her associate David Schnee uh, with Group 4 Architects and Research out of South San Francisco, who we have recently contracted with to perform uh, some very, very exciting work for us to complete a public faci uh, facilitated public engagement process and to develop a conceptual design as the first step towards the actual realization of our dream for a new recreation center and aquatic center or swimming pool for this community to serve us long into the future. Um, the presentation tonight will cover the activities uh, that Group 4 has been contracted to perform, um, give you some sneak peeks at some of the um, visuals that will be used in that process to stimulate our imaginations and our um, participation in the in the public engagement process and to give you a, an idea about the schedule. Um, again, we're hopeful that people who are seeing us at home um, either tonight or uh, by um, uh, in the days to come, um, take advantage of the information that you'll see tonight and mark your calendars to watch for additional information about our stakeholder outreach and our public town hall meetings, which will be an important part of this process. So with that, I'd ask our team to, to uh, walk through their presentation. All right. Good evening, Mr. Mayor. Members of the Council, Don Marcus, a principal at Group 4 Architecture, and with me tonight is David Schnee, also a principal and one of my partners at Group 4. We're really very excited to be presenting tonight kind of an overview of our work plan um, for the process and for the work that we're about to embark on. Uh, first, we'll start with quick introductions to the project team and then give you a little bit more detail on the work plan and how we're gonna accomplish the conceptual design, and then go in a little bit more depth on the proposed engagement and how we're gonna engage the community, the stakeholders, advisory committee, and um, staff in designing our new recreation and aquatic center. Um, so group four is me and David and about 23 other people in our firm right located in South San Francisco, uh, some of which actually live in San Bruno and kids go to school here. Um, being a neighboring community, really consider you part of our community. Uh, BSW Architects, Stephen Springs, is an associate architectural firm that we have selected uh, specifically for their expertise in aquatics and recreation facilities. So to bring about 40 years of their experience working on similar types of projects, similar size and scope to your project. Also working with us is George, George Dines from Councilman Huntsacker. A uh, big part of their scope of work is going to be aquatics and recreational market analysis and operational. So that operational cost, revenue generation, looking at how we're going to operate a new facility, significantly different than the facility you currently have, and making sure that that's gonna be sustainable as that moves forward for the city. And really pleased to have our architect, our landscape architect, Marco Esposito with SWA also on our team. Group four, um, I've been with them for over 30 years and one of our first community center projects was actually the San Bruno Community Center, the one we're in here now, super excited. Um, since some of those early projects, Group 4 has really expanded on our experience in community projects from recre recreation centers, to community centers, senior centers, libraries. We do them not just locally, all over the state as well as nationally. Some of the ones you may be familiar with uh, Mitchell Park Center, West Sacramento, as well as San Leandro. 
And then BSW, as I mentioned, a huge 40-year resume of doing aquatics and recreation facilities and really bringing that expertise uh, to your project, very similar in scope and size. Some of their projects are shown here. And then uh, Councilman Hunsacker, really bringing that kind of being able to vet what we're proposing in terms of space for operations. And that's really a key part of our work and key part of being informed as you make those decisions that we have in front of us. And so to present our work plan is David and uh, I'll be back for engagement. Thank you, Don and uh, Mr. Mayor and uh, members of council. It's a privilege to be here and to work you, walk you through the work plan that we've developed uh, uh, with uh, staff uh, and a work plan that will uh, really uh, generate successful uh, results. So the first aspect of it is that we're going to build upon the work that the community has uh, done, particularly over this last year. Any of you uh, participated in any meetings on this project over this past year or done surveys of the rest? Uh, quite a few, and we want to, uh, that has really laid an excellent foundation for the work that we're going to do now. Uh, this project scope at the uh, right now is phase one, conceptual design, and in that has two tasks, and I'll go through those uh, shortly. And then uh, uh, phase two is the schematic design and construction that was, uh, is uh, future phases and scope there. The bottom half of this work plan uh, is all of those dots and shapes are the engagement plan that Dawn will uh, continue and uh, elaborate on after my uh, description of the f top tasks and their subtasks. So the first uh, task we'll be doing is looking at the uh, alternatives, the program alternatives. What should be here? We know we're going to have a uh, recreation center, an aquatic center, but there's lots of different uh, components to those that we can have. The approach that we'll be taking is to have a, a foundational aspect so that we know that the core prerequisite spaces are here. Uh, you have wonderful facilities already. We're going to improve upon those as part of the base. But then we'll be working in the community engagement process to see which alternatives uh, there uh, can be to enhance that within the overall budget. We'll be, of course, then uh, looking at site analysis and site alternatives. You have a beautiful, wonderful park. Uh, here that is really at the heart and core of uh, San Bruno. Uh, the, uh, we have circulation and parking that we need to take care of, the facilities, the beautiful landscape. Uh, these will all be uh, part of our uh, process. Then we'll be looking at this early phase at building alternatives. How should we build uh, the project? Should it be uh, to the uh, north side, to the south side? Uh, should the facilities be combined? Uh, should the existing uh, recreation uh, memorial uh, building be reused or is there any value that can provide? We'll be looking at all these alternatives. And of course, uh, we have to work within the, uh, uh, the budget uh, that you has been established uh, for it, but not just the capital budget for the bricks and mortar and the building and site costs and the uh, equipment that goes into it to make modern 21st century buildings, but the operational costs are fundamental too, that the, uh, over the, the life of the building, you'll spend many times more on the operations than you will on the capital costs. And so this is a chart that just talks about looking at the different options from on the left side, the uh, uh, operational cost, staff, the little figures there, and revenue too. The recreation center has the potential for it and looking and evaluating options according to those two uh, criteria. Then we'll be putting this together uh, and uh, analyzing these and making, looking at various alternatives, doing a uh, very accessible community-driven analysis of the different uh, criteria that we'll establish with this, uh, with everyone's uh, input. And we expect a strong alternative will uh, 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 emerge out of this good listening that we'll do and putting lots of good information in front of uh, a very engaged community. So then we, with that direction that we'll get at the end of task one, we go to task two, which is to really develop the conceptual design. This will allow the uh, plan and uh, visual uh, graphics of what it will look like. Early on in the process, we'll be getting what we call design values in a community of this size or any size in public process, which we specialize in. It's not about what I like as the architect. It's not what any individual likes, but there are strong values of community engagement, of participation, of family, of education here in San Bruno. We, there are also design values, too, that uh, we can talk about a welcoming facility, one that honors the landscape that is uh, uh, proud, and we'll hear from you what your values are, and we'll be developing that conceptual design package. And of course, uh, with that, most importantly, will be to confirm and set the foundation for the final design phases and uh, later construction, setting up a, a full comprehensive uh, uh, budget that's looking at all the construction factors and uh, market factors uh, and uh, making sure that this is a project that we can successfully deliver uh, to the community who is so looking forward to it. So now Dawn will describe the 
different steps of participation. Thank you, David. Um, so community engagement, this is, you know, this is like once in a lifetime project. And so we want to make sure everybody in the community has a chance to be engaged and has a chance to participate in helping to uh, develop this conceptual design. Uh, we are having two rounds of community participation. The first one will kick off in March. And in that first round of participation, we're going to cover program options. Those are the spaces within the building, architectural program, site and building diagram options, and design values. Um, in round two, which happens in May and June, that's when we actually really get to the different conceptual design options as architecture, as you know. And so that's where you'll see the plans, the massing models, materiality, and setting up sustainability. You know, is this project going to be environmentally friendly? Of course it is, but to what level and to what extent, those are all things that we need to have the discussion and dialogue with the community on to determine. Um, the community meetings, we're going to have three formats. The first one will be the structured town hall meeting, kind of your traditional town hall meeting, and we'll be having that at the Veterans Memorial Recreation Center. Um, in addition to that, we're doing community intercept kiosk. And there's some images here of the kiosk, and just by chance, when we met with Carrie and her staff, it was perfect timing for us to be at the Easter egg hunt at the park as well as at the community day for round two. And so we're really hoping um, that that's a great opportunity for the community to engage with us where we're out there where they are, not expecting them always to come to us um, and being able to give us input on the outreach that we'll be doing then. In addition to that, also during these large uh, periods of times, three to four weeks for each round, we'll be doing online surveys and iPad kiosks. So we'll set this up at the library, at the Veterans Memorial Center, where we actually have an iPad directly linked to the on-site survey so that the community members can fill it out at their leisure. Um, we'll be doing flyers that will have links to all the community members to where they can go to the online survey and really trying to promote engagement from the community, um, not just at the kiosk, at the structured town hall meeting, but also with the online survey. In addition to that, the public hearings that are on our work plan include your introduction to the project and the overview that we're giving you tonight. Um, next week, we'll actually be at the Park and Recreation Commission meeting. And then we'll see you again April 24th, where we'll be having the different program options and site options for you. And then back again on June 26th with the conceptual design. Um, in addition to Park and Rec next week, we'll also be there March 21st and May 16th. And then the Planning Commission is planned for April 17th. And these are all public meetings that the public is also welcome to attend. Um, additionally, at this first phase, just as we're developing this needs assessment for the project, really reaching out to the stakeholders uh, and developing focus groups for the gym users, recreation providers, service providers, teens, San Bruno schools, and the community organizations. Uh, advisory committee will also be established, and the advisory committee is really going to be the sounding board for all of the work that we'll be bringing to the public. All of our information will be vetted through this advisory committee and will really play kind of a key role in helping to guide the project as it moves forward. Technical meetings, we've already had our first technical meeting. Oh, actually, we've had two with senior staff as well as recreation staff. And these are going to be meetings that are going to happen throughout the project and at regular intervals. And not just with park and recreation staff and senior staff, but planning, building, police, and fire to make sure we're getting input early on so that we can mitigate any concerns and integrate all their good um, suggestions and ideas as well. And this is just a summary of some of the notes that we've already collected. Um, but as you can see on the work plan, those are really integrated throughout the project. And so with that, we hope we didn't keep you too long in yet another presentation tonight. Um, but hopefully you got a good sense of what we're proposing. And we're happy to answer any questions or take any comments. Questions from council? Through the chair. Uh, Irene. Um, tell us about the advisory committee. How are you forming it, and what is their actual role? 
Um, so I can talk about their role, and I think maybe Connie might want to chime in here and suggest how it's going to be formed. So the role is really, as I suggested, it's for them to be our sounding board, to be able to preview information that we're developing for the outreach, for the project, the technical information. The advisory committee um, will have a lot more local knowledge than we do, even though they're, we're right next door, being able to bring an advisory committee on that's a nice cross-section of knowledge-based people really will make our information that much more effective, and that will be their role. So this, this will be a similar process to the one that we used with the um, previous phase of work where we were determining what community facility had the highest priority within San Bruno and the, public, and the community facilitation around that topic. Um, at this point, uh, we are proposing to um, uh, form that form that co uh, advisory committee out of staff from different um, uh, most important uh, technical specialties, probably public works, community services, um, and the city manager's office. And then we we have uh, I have spoken with the mayor about the appointment of an ad hoc committee of two city council members. We will be seeking, uh, we've spoken with the community foundation about two members of that organization. Um, as you know, and we haven't mentioned it yet, but I believe it's um, commonly under, uh, common knowledge that the community foundation has a very strong interest in this project as they are have designated or earmarked um, $50 million from the um, restitution funds under their control for this project. And uh, representation from the community, uh, I'm sorry, the Parks and Recreation Commission. So it, it's, again, a very similar structure to the one we used in the previous round of public engagement. Other questions from council? Well. Thank you very much. We look forward to it. Thank you. It's exciting. Very exciting.